Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Smart Women Finish Rich, a creation by David Bach. Smart Women Finish Rich, 1998, is a financial empowerment guide that covers saving, investing, and creating a purpose-driven life while achieving your goals. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that David Bach, an American financial author, has authored 10 New York Times bestsellers, such as The Automatic Millionaire and Start Later, Finish Rich. His works have been featured on popular TV networks including ABC, CBS, CNBC, CNN, Fox, and The Oprah Winfrey Show. Bach is the founder of Finish Rich Media, through which he reaches thousands globally with his Finish Rich seminars. With nine key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on storyplane.net. To start, achieve financial freedom and fund your dreams. Women face financial challenges such as lower pay, less investing, and longer lives needing more savings, leaving them at a higher risk of poverty in old age. It is crucial for women to plan for retirement strategically, learn financial literacy, and make smart choices to build personal wealth even with limited income. By following a solid financial plan like David Bax, women can take control of their finances, leverage compound interest, and work towards a secure financial future. Key idea number one. The text is about debunking common misconceptions regarding money and finances. It likely explores various financial myths and explains the truth behind them. By busting these myths, the article may aim to provide readers with accuracy and helpful information for managing their finances effectively. Knowledge is considered potential power. Actions taken with knowledge matter most in achieving wealth. The myth that wealth depends solely on income is debunked. The focus should be on how money is handled rather than just earning a lot. M.C. Hammerar's story illustrates how high income does not guarantee wealth if spending is not managed. Finishing rich is more about proper distribution of current income rather than needing more money. Smart financial decisions can lead to wealth. Financial. Key idea number two, values. Based financial planning is a personalized approach that focuses on aligning financial decisions with an individual's values and goals. It considers the importance of relationships, experiences, and personal beliefs when creating a financial plan. Purpose-focused. Financial planning emphasizes identifying what truly matters to you financially as the crucial first step in building wealth. This involves asking yourself deep questions about what money means to you. By understanding your core motivators, you can create a financial plan that aligns with your values and makes it easier to stick to it. Take the time to uncover your driving force in order to achieve financial success. Key idea number three. This statement is a popular phrase for requesting payment or compensation. The text highlights the importance of understanding one's financial position and taking control of personal finances. It emphasizes the need for individuals, particularly women, to organize and be aware of their financial accounts, investments, and debts. The author recommends setting up a structured system like the Finish Rich Folder system to gather and organize financial documents. This organization enables individuals to have a clear and comprehensive overview of their financial status, which is essential for better financial management. Key idea number four, the concept of the latte factor is about how small daily expenses can add up to significant amounts over time, highlighting the importance of being mindful of your spending habits. It encourages people to consider the long-term impact of small routine expenses in order to achieve financial goals. Saving and investing a percentage of your pre-tax income is crucial for building wealth and financial security. Financial experts recommend setting aside at least 10% of pre-tax income for retirement, with women needing to save more due to longer life expectancies. Starting small and gradually increasing savings can make a significant difference. 
identifying and cutting unnecessary expenses like daily coffee purchases can contribute significantly to long-term savings and investments. Prioritizing pre-tax investing early on can lead to substantial wealth accumulation over time. Key idea number five, it is advised not to invest all your money or resources in one single place or opportunity. This phrase emphasizes the importance of diversification to reduce risk and increase chances of success. The author became an investor at age seven, starting by investing in McDonald's stocks. He learned the importance of diversification from his grandmother's advice. He now advocates dividing financial assets into three baskets, security, retirement, and dream. The security basket is for unexpected expenses, keeping funds in a money market account. The dream basket is for personal aspirations, with a starting suggestion of saving 5% of income. Short-term dreams can be in a money market account, while mid to long-term. Goals can be in a balanced mutual fund. K idea number six. The text is about common mistakes to avoid in investing. Learning from mistakes is essential for growth. Waiting to invest can be detrimental, as many adults have minimal savings for retirement. Starting to invest early is key due to the benefits of compound interest. Delaying buying a house can also be a mistake, as owning builds wealth while renting benefits someone else. It is valuable to learn from others' mistakes to avoid unnecessary pain and financial setbacks on the path to financial security. Key idea number seven. The text conveys that intelligent children have the potential to become wealthy in the future. Many high school students in the US lack basic economic knowledge. There is a need to improve financial education. Sharing financial knowledge with children is important. Teaching children the value of money and providing them with a weekly allowance can be beneficial. The Rockefeller family's approach to money management can serve as a helpful example for teaching kids about finances. Key idea number eight. The text is about attracting abundance, emphasizing increasing positivity and shifting focus to attract wealth and prosperity in life. It likely discusses mindset, manifesting desires, and creating opportunities for growth and abundance. Creating abundance and financial security doesn't require a huge income. Practicing gratitude as advised by successful individuals is key. Enjoy the journey toward financial goals, savoring moments and being generous along the way for a more rewarding path to finishing rich. In conclusion, women should focus on financial empowerment, importance of financial education, future security and realizing dreams. By connecting with personal values, being organized, saving effectively, investing wisely, and enjoying the process, women can achieve financial success along with men. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories, and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.